Hi everyone, how you doing today? The uh, folks over at Hychika have reached out to me one more time and asked me if I would be willing to re review a tool for them. And uh, today they sent me over a cordless reciprocating saw, 4 amp hour uh, lithium, lithium ion battery. So uh, let's take a quick look at it and put it to use and see how it does. Alright, so here's the box. It's a uh, model ML RS18. Uh, it's a 20 volt, uh, 20 volt model, much like the uh, drill they had sent sent previously, and this one has a four amp hour battery as opposed to the, I believe it was two amp hour battery on the drill. So let's get this thing opened up. Let's see what's inside the box. All right, now we've got a carried case. the instruction manual and it looks like a small assortment of blades. Here is the drill itself. Just a piece of spacer that we could just chuck over there. And here are the battery and charger. Okay, let me get all the plastic and stuff off this stuff and take a good look at it. Okay, here's the owner's manual here. I'm going to take a look through that in a minute and get the uh, general gist of how to use this thing. In addition, like I said, we had a variety of blades, a couple of metal blades, and uh, a couple of wood cutting blades. And I can see that, you know, for example, this one's a little bit finer too from that. So it's a nice little, a nice little assortment, at least to get you started if you don't uh, happen to have any blades on hand already. All right. Here's our charger. And uh, our four amp, uh, amp hour battery. So I'll get that plugged in in a minute and get it topped off. And here is the saw itself. It's got the adjust an adjustable uh, foot. I believe this is just a finger guard up here to keep the fingers out of the way. Looks like we have a trigger lock. And this must be how we adjust the foot, I would think. Maybe. Hello? Oh, yes. There we go. Correct. Okay. All right, well, let's get this uh, battery charged up and see how this thing works. Okay, here we go. It's all charging up. Solid red means it's charging. If it's uh, flashing red, it means it's a dead battery. I mean dead like damaged. Solid green, when this one lights up, will be fully charged. And flashing green is uh, over temp. All charged up, ready to go. We'll put a blade in this guy and find some stuff to cut. Are getting a little stuck. Okay, there we go. The whole pallet has been chopped up. I cut all the nails off. So uh, I'm going to put a wood blade in it now, and we'll try cutting some wood stuff. I am going to top off the battery. It's uh, doing pretty well. It's, uh, well, if I can hit the button here. Still got two lights, but uh, let's top it off before we do anything else. All right, I'm out here in my little orchard area, some of my apple trees and so forth up there in the cages. I don't want this little hemlock, so let's get rid of this fella. Okay, here I am up, up at the top of the hill near those uh, same two apple trees now. And I've been starting to flatten all this out, pulling rocks out, filling, filling holes and things, so I can get up here with a uh, lawn tractor and do a little bit of mowing. But uh, one thing I do have left over to take care of are things like these, these little roots that we have poking up. I've got them kind of spread around here and there. 
and they're all sticking up just high enough that uh, they're going to be a problem. So let's cut a few of these guys out. actually continuing up the hill. All right, now I did just do a very, very heavy uh, round of root trimming. I didn't film it this time because I've already filmed plenty of it. But if you can see, dash light temperature. So I did get the battery pretty hot, but I did a whole bunch, a whole bunch of work with it. All right, it hasn't been long at all, and you can see the battery's cooled off. It stopped flashing green. We got a good charge going on. All right, so there you go. We've given this thing a, a quick run through its paces. Uh, tried tried cutting through quite a few different types of materials. So hopefully hopefully that will give you an idea of how, how this thing does in the real world. Um, there's a few things I did notice. Uh, like obviously I did overheat the battery, but I, that was a quick charge. Used it, used it to completion and then charged it again immediately. So that is, you know, that is using, using the battery pretty hard, but it is something to uh, be aware of. Uh, also, it did, it is a uh, did get locked up quite a few times, as you probably saw while I was cutting. It would just kind of bind real quick and, and just stop, and then it starts cutting again. So I mean, it's not it's not quite as powerful as uh, some of the bigger ones I've used before, but it is definitely definitely quite capable. So I'd say you know if you're uh, you know just a, kind of working around the house, need something like this every once in a while, I think this would be a great tool to to, to uh, consider. And uh, you know I probably wouldn't use this if I was let's say a professional carpenter and uh, you know out using this thing every single day. I don't, I don't know that it would hold up quite as well. But for a little work around the house, give it a thought. The uh, link to their website and so forth is down below. And uh, thanks a lot for watching today. Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. <laughs>